Hey, it's Brandon Walsh with SoCal Installs. We're actually headed over to a client's house who wants a TV put in uh, kind of a back area, a uh, possible rental unit, and uh, it kind of brought up one of the things that we, we come across a lot, which is a um, person has a TV, they have a mount, and sometimes, a lot of times, they even try to do the installation, but there's a couple different steps that they get caught up on, and we're just gonna go over here and show you guys a really basic installation of a TV and just show you the basic steps, how to do it so you're confident in installing your TV. So for every installation, I have a grouping of tools that come with me and they're absolutely important. And so we're gonna go over the things that you're gonna need for this basic installation. You have to have these products. A very crucial tool for this installation is actually this adapter. It goes on your drill bit like a hexagonal and then it goes to a half inch drive that does your socket. And you're going to need the half inch and normally and or a 10 millimeter socket. So I have both of them on me at all times. But this adapter is something you should definitely grab at a Home Depot if you don't have it. Again it's a hexagonal to a half inch drive for your ratchet to your drill. So after you have the ratchet, we also need the sockets. Uh, a very common socket is a half inch, and another one that is very common is 10 millimeter. If you have a socket set, you're good. I use these as extenders. It just keeps me a little bit further away from the mount. Uh, and then very crucial to this process is having one of these uh, converters. This goes from the hexagonal that goes on your drill to a 3 8 drive that can get into here and go ahead and, and spin your big lag bolts onto the, onto the wall. To not have this is trouble because you have to hand tighten every single one and it can be a little time consuming. Today we're going to be installing a Samsung 32 inch TV. This is a very common size TV uh, for your dorm room, bedroom, um, you know, people put them in the kitchen uh, or in bathrooms even, they'll install these 32 inch TVs. They're just a great size to hide in the corner, put in an arm mount. Today we're going to be using an arm mount as well. We got a Santa's uh, kind of full rotation mount here for smaller TVs. This one says 22 to 55 inch TVs. Uh, really that depends on the, the, the whole size in the back of the TV. So you can go a little bigger or whatever, but it's a great mount by Santa's. And uh, these are bought at Costco or online. They're great mounts. So here is the bag of bolts that comes with every new mount. Um, what's important to know is that there are like three or four different size bolts that you're gonna use in this project. Uh, it goes all the way from an M4, which are skinnier, to an M5, M6, and an M8. It looks like they don't have any M5s on this one, so just the four, six, and eights. Uh, and this TV is actually the M4, which is the smallest one, and those are the least common to have, so uh, this, it's good. because It's a smaller mount, so it's probably why they include those, is because it's more common for smaller TVs. middle size TVs, uh, Sony's and LG's use the M6. Most Samsung's and bigger TVs use the bigger M8's. And they have different lengths for each that you can use in combination with the, um, the washers and the spacers. And you'll end up getting a, a fit where it's, it's got to be just tight enough, but it can't be loose once the bracket's on. If the screw bottoms out and the bracket still moves around, you got to put a spacer in there. And we'll show you that as we're doing it. So I'm going to get the M4 screws out. To try not to lose them in the carpet. Once you lose them in the carpet, you'll never find them. Got the washers as well, so we have washers, screws. And I think for this one, we're gonna need a little spacer. There's some spacers, so we just need washers, screws, and spacers. So step one is we're gonna put the bracket on the TV here, and just follow the instructions in your manual. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. This one comes with three pieces, so we're just gonna go through that process. We put these uh, on first, these 
these horizontal pieces. And the key with these, and every time you put a bracket on, is just hold it up tight as you're putting the screw in so that everything lines up. If you push up on everything as you're tightening it, it'll line up. Now we put this piece on here. They always have one set of holes that line up and one set that has a little bit of play. And the top ones here are the ones that line up. There you go. 100 by 100 millimeter. Got the bracket on. Step one. So now that the bracket is on the TV, we're gonna go to step two. This is the most important step. We have to measure where things are on the TV. Otherwise, it makes step three very difficult. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out. In this instance, we have this bracket here, which is where the mount will grab on. So we'll, what's important is to know is where the bottom of the TV is to this piece here to the top. So if you know these three measurements, that's all you need to know. So we have, the TV is about 18 inches tall and the bracket hits at just over 15. So about 15 and an eighth. So from the bottom to 15 and an eighth and it's an 18 inch tall TV. When you have those three measurements, that's all you need from the TV. So now that we have step two completed and we know where our measurement's gonna be, we ask our customer where they want the TV on the wall. In this instance, they drew an X for us. Piece of cake, that's where they want the TV. So we have an 18 inch TV and this is step three, finding out where the mount goes on the wall. So we're gonna measure up the 18 inch TV that we have vertically and put it on the wall where they want. And as we said before, the mount hits at 15 and an eighth. So we simply make a mark at 15 and an eighth. Now that we have the height of the TV marked out, we're gonna go ahead and find the studs that are closest to this. The stud right here is the one we're gonna use. It's actually right where the X is. We want it a little left or right for our mount, but uh, you just have to figure out which ones are closest. A lot of mounts use two. So this one's right in the middle, which is good for our uh, extending mount. And something that's really important is, uh, if you're not sure about the, where the stud is, which it's very common, just use a very small bit, like a 1 8 bit or even a, a 1 16th inch bit, and just make three holes. Make a hole right where you think the stud is, and then if you hit it, make a hole left and make a hole right, and you'll be able to just make sure you know exactly where the stud is, and you'll be confident you're in the middle of it. If you poke and it's not there, then sometimes it's just that the drywall, uh, the density of the drywall there made it seem like there was a stud uh, because there's like two pieces of drywalls connecting. Um, so that may be a false reading, but once you identify the stud and you poke it with a small bit, then you'll be confident where that is and you can go on to step four. So after we have the height of the TV picked out and the stud we're gonna use, we need to figure out how the mount goes on the wall. And what we did before is we measured 15 and an eighth inch, which is where this mount connects to that bracket on the wall, on the TV. So this mount here now has to go where the TV was, where the bracket was, and 15 and an eighth inch was what I measured is exactly where this will fit into the other part. So since this is a half inch higher, we're gonna make a mark a half inch higher. And now we have our stud and the top of our mount right there. So this bracket has a little cover. We have to take it off and move this aside. And now we're gonna line up this stud, this top, and our bracket. So first I'm gonna grab the old level. And we're gonna make a couple marks. Make a mark where the top of the mount's gonna go. where it crosses the stud. And you wanna draw this down as far as your mount's gonna go. In our instance, it's like a foot long. So now we know where to put the mount. That is the exact point of where this mount's gonna go. So I use a level to make sure that the mount is, is level enough. Because once we put the bolts on, then we have to you know, micro adjust. But in this instance, we want our bracket to go right here. 
We want it to hit the mark on both top and bottom. And to do so, I use a level to make sure that the mount is level. And now you just mark your holes. It's moving a little bit, but all right. This doesn't have to be an exact thing when you're talking about left and right, because now that I move it away, we have our, our cross-reference area. So now we can just go ahead and make a mark. That's the exact spot that the two uh, screws are gonna go in this to secure the mount. And we're just gonna do the top one first. So our instructions say that we need a quarter inch drill bit. So we're gonna go ahead and drill the top hole, and then we're gonna put the mount up and then drill the bottom hole, which is highly recommended. And so we have the bolt and the washer and the mount. We're gonna go ahead and connect this all up. Get it on the head here and just screw it into the wall. I always hand tighten them, so just be careful on over tightening with the drill, because if you do, you can just break the head right off. It's a good way for your TV to come crashing down later. So we'll always hand tighten. But before I hand tighten, I'm gonna go ahead and now, since we have an exact mark, which actually it is a little bit lower than my mark was initially, now I know exactly where this one goes. That's why I didn't drill it first. I just drilled the top one first. And if it's a mount that goes left and right, drill both of the top ones first, put the mount up, then put the drill the, the bottom two holes. Drill bit back on. We're gonna go right in there. Get our adapter back on. And our socket. And I have my other bolt. Now, when I put the other bolt in, we do want to make sure that we use the level. Uh, we'll just start it and then we'll check the level. So, we need to check level of the mount. It's a little bit off, so we're gonna go ahead and shift the bracket. There we go. I kept pressure on it. And there you go. So now that we hand tighten those bolts into the wall, we can just put this cover back on and we're finished with step three. So the fourth and final step is confidently putting the TV on the mount. Once the bolts are tightened and you wanna just make sure that it's secure on the wall, you can give it a little tug on the mount, if it, especially if it's an arm mount. If you give it a little pressure, you'll feel it's solid. Uh, if it's on the wall, you can kind of grab it like that and just make sure. If nothing moves, you're great. And now you can confidently put the TV up. I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this one up. And now everything's secure and where we put this on, we have it sitting here and it just sits up on there and gravity does the work. So we'll put the tension screw in here to stabilize the mount. And some of these Sanus mounts now actually have a leveling feature here, I guess. We're gonna supposed to use this to move this left or right to make it level. So I kind of just have to spin the TV around and make sure it's level. Put that up there on the wall. We'll check where we're at as far as level. So it's level. And there you go. Your TV's installed in four simple steps. So now the TV's up, it's level. It's secure on the wall. We're, we're certain it's not gonna fall off, right? You are too, okay? So if you have any questions about this, please comment below. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to our channel, because we're gonna have a ton of videos on how to install things, questions that I've heard over the past 15 years in the home theater, and also reviews on new products, mesh wireless networks, things like that. So subscribe to our channel. Remember, if you follow our direction, if you follow these steps, you can be the installer. Thank you.